Hello folks. Well that took longer than I thought it would, but what else is new? So since in the last one we set up our bow and arrow to have it have some status effects and the like, let's do just a little bit more tweaking on our bow and make it a little bit easier to fire. So what I want to do is I'm going to go into the player blueprint because I want to update the camera shift. So if you remember when we have our camera shift, we're doing this for both melee and ranged combat, but I kind of want to alter it a little bit. So I'm basically going to duplicate all of this one. Control C and Control V to paste it over here. And then I'm going to create two more custom events. If my right click, oh, not you. Custom event, this will be bow shift. One more custom event, bow return. So because ranged and melee combat are so different, uh, I thought we could have the, so bow shift into play, bow return into reverse, but I thought we could have the melee combat cam come out a little ways from the player, give them a little bit better of a view of the surrounding. So I'm gonna, instead of it being 175 on the B, and alert for that one, it's 350 now, and then I'm moving it up on the z-axis by 25. So it'll come out and give them a little bit better of a view. So if I jump in real quickly like... So... Kind of a little bit wider range in case you have a lot of enemies around you. You'll be able to kind of deal with them a little bit easier, I think, personally. So now we need to do our bow shift and everything like that. Now for the bow, I also want it to go in. I want it to get close. So I'm gonna say 125 and maybe 50 on the B. But let's see here where we're drawing the bow. Changing equipment, sword drawn, no false set and bow drawn right here. Okay, so instead of melee cam reshift and melee cam shift, we want bow, nope, bow shift. Just attach that just like that. Get out of here. You're not needed. Bow cam. Nope. Bow return. Not to be confused with bow stow. Bow stow. That sounds weird. Okay. Now we got that. Bow return. Bow shift. Yes, they're in the right areas. Let's take a look and see how that will look in playtime. So, yeah, it look, zooms in a little bit. Maybe it needs to go over a little bit further. So what we can do is bow shift. Now you can just kind of play with values. So I'm going to say move this over 75 again. Maybe 75 was right after all. And then... Maybe 75 is not right. But also maybe a little bit closer. So I'm going to set this to 100. Maybe 60 and 10 move it up and in a little bit that looks that looks pretty good i like that so this what this will also do is it'll make your bow a lot more accurate so let me buy a bunch of arrows real quick oh you know i say that but I bet actually it won't right now, will it? Oh, no, that's not. That's all right. Yeah, it's looking good. And then we pick up our sword and a potion, apparently. And then got more field of view for if enemies are around us. We need to cast magic at him. We need to slash him. We need to insult him and his mother. Then we need to move in. Bam. Oh, that's still on that. What did I use for? But yeah, just a quick camera shift update on this one. For right now. Uh, 
it's taken me a little bit longer to get back to these than I anticipated, but I am coming back to these because we still got a lot to cover. And I'm not giving up on the series. And I'm not giving up on y'all. So, so for now, that's it. I will see y'all shortly. Just got a few things we got to settle up still, but I wanted to throw this one out there to show y'all. I haven't forgotten. I'll see you soon. Bye. Quick little addendum. Uh, if your bow is being... Uh, more inaccurate now. Uh, it's probably because we have our thing set up to fire from the fire from and that's parented to the camera. So when the camera gets a lot closer and uh, moves differently than it was, you just need to reposition this. And the way I've done this is I've just set my camera. Let's see, I'll just set my camera. I'll set my ca I'll set my camera boom, my camera boom to whatever my bow settings are so 160 10 that's mine now so I will set it to 160 10 and then I'll set my fire from uh, I will set my character into using her bow idle not idle that no that's not the right one bow aiming bow aim Draw bow, fire, range, ready arrow. There we go. So right here, then I'll just select my my dually bopper, and I am going to just drag it back and down and over. Line it back up with where it was. And what we can do, since this is now made to ignore the player, we can drag it back through. So if things get very close, uh, you'll still be able to hit them accurately. So I'm going to move this back. I'm going to set her back into blueprint mode. I'm going to set this back to, that's the camera. Camera, boom, 300. Zer, zer. Compile. Go back. We're good. And just to double, just to double check some stuff. Alright, so now the bow should be still very, very accurate from close, and let me get way over here, oh goodness, and then I can hit that, but that's not good enough. I hear you say, well, how do we know from even further distance? Well, let's find out. Let me just, boom, like that. Oh, crap, alright. Now let me get that bow. Let me get those arrows. Alright, now double checking. Just double checking. Just to make sure. Now there are even more. Yeah, that's looking good, but let's say we want one on the ground level to make sure that when we're up on it, it hits appropriately, right? So, yeah, y'all can pretty much exit out if you want to. This is just to, to let, just to show for sure. Because in this version of the project, I don't like to test anything without y'all seeing it, so... on that one all right bam that's got it oh all right cool good deal so yeah that's how you can fix it just kind of line up your camera boom with where it's at and position your fire from you can set it inside the character so that it doesn't spawn out here and mess up before it hits that way it always spawns and whew. so yeah that'll have you good to go all right see y'all in the next one